Hey there, YouTube. It's me, Broken Terrain, and I'm going to do a video on these three wagons. I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's do it after the drop. To start, I'm going to measure and cut out some bases for my wagons. I'm going to do this out of Dollar Store Foam Core. They're two and a quarter inch wide by three inches long. This is gonna let me sit two figures abreast, three deep. So the wagon should hold up to six figures, assuming your bases are one inch. Uh, we're gonna do the usual scoring, then going over those marks with a pen, and then drawing in the wood grain. The dollar store foam board works extremely well for this and you're gonna get a great texture out of it. Uh, I cut little side strips, I believe they're uh, three quarter inch high, split it like two boards, hot glue to the sides. I'm gonna take another strip and put it across the back. And this is going to be the generic base for all of the wagons. To add a little decoration and strength, I'm gonna glue some matchsticks to the sides, trim them to the height of the walls of the wagon. Then I'm gonna take these large craft sticks, trim one of the ends off with my clipper so it's flat, and glue this across the middle lengthwise. This is going to be the body of my wagon. And again, each of these wagons will get the same treatment. It's time to look at wheels. I've got my circle woodsy bits from uh, Michael's or a Hobby Lobby. Uh, a couple of dollars get you a large pouch of them. And using the figure, I determined that these this size circle would be the best for these tires. I would later regret that and wished that all of them had been the larger circle and done the way I do the, the prison wagon, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I'll, I'll glue these wheels up back to back to uh, thicken them. And then another piece of craft stick and another piece of foam core and we've got the seat i do the seat one by two inch this is going to allow for a driver and a co-pilot grabbing those dollar store horses i get a good feeling for how far i want the horses to be and then glue a matchstick on the end and this is going to serve as a connection point or a hookup for the horses. Then I've decided to use a eighth inch dowel for the axle. And so I use my eighth inch drill bit and start drilling through the wheels. And I'll drill through some of those wooden uh, cubes there as axle points. This is a um, part where these smaller wheels went wrong in order to clear, I had to use a really stupid looking cube. I mean, it's it's very big. It looks dumb. Um, in hindsight, I would have preferred the lower profile tires that are uh, wagon wheels that I use on the prison cart. Um, but it doesn't look too bad, right? I don't know. It's very usable. Lots of space on the flatbed and ton of space on the seat and I think playability is very important when you're making a piece like this. I wanted to do a covered wagon as one of the wagons. The matchsticks along the edge, I have them protrude up a little bit and they're going to help catch a chipboard frame that I have cut out. A couple of matchsticks will lock the corners in place I'm going to do that at the base of each one of those rounded spines. Then I'm going to uh, glue along the 
uh, closed edge and put a piece of my cheesecloth down. Once that's dry, I'm gonna uh, trim it out and wrap it around the spine. And while it's drying, I bunch up a kind of accordion fold and then tie in the middle the draped end of the cloth on what will be the back side of the wagon. Then I cut out a larger piece, glue around the edge and spine, and then lay the cheesecloth down. Peel it back a bit, lay down the rest of the glue, and then roll it along the spine and let dry. And then when it dries, I'll trim it, wrap it around the edges, and, uh, and then I'll glue in the drapery. So for my final wagon, I wanted to do the prison wagon, and I originally planned on doing this out of granny grating. If you're a crafter though, um, you're familiar with granny grating and its absolute reluctance to be glued down by anything. So to fix this, I thought I could wrap the edges in floral wire and kind of bind it that way and then run glue around it. I worked on this for a long time, multiple ways, couldn't make it work, and then ultimately built the whole prison cart out of wood. Uh, the matchsticks and the, um, the popsicle sticks or crab sticks. And despite it not being what I wanted, I really like the way it came out. It's possibly my favorite cart. And here it is getting the bands on the wheels. You can see those larger, low profile tires look a whole lot better on these wagons. With the watered down glue, I go over the canopy on the covered wagon. This is gonna stiffen this cheesecloth up. Then with a 50% black paint and matte Mod Podge, I'll protect the foam core, and then I'll go outside and hit everything with a black spray primer. And a close-up of possibly my favorite wagon with that little 3D printed lock bit. Boy, that looks great. I had what? I thought was an amazing idea, and there might still be something to it. Here are these dollar store uh, horses mounted to a fender washer and a little chip. I'm gonna drill into the back of each horse and place a magnet. Now, if I had been paying attention to the pole of every signal magnet, I could have used magnets on the harness and this idea would have worked. Instead, I tried a, a little piece of metal glued to the bottom of a, uh, a candy canister lid and it doesn't quite work. It doesn't attract to the magnet as well as I would like it. This was a very frustrating end to a very frustrating project but you know every once in a while you just you got to get it done you just move forward with what you have and it still kind of works the idea that the horses are strapped in uh, is visually communicated let's do it so i took them outside i hit them with black spray primer and let's get started painting everything up so all three wagons, all the wood parts, I start with apple barrels, burnt umber, and just hit all of it. After that, it was time to hit the canopy with apple barrels, vanilla ice cream. Ran into another problem. Uh, I love the texture on this cheesecloth, but man, oh man, painting it was a nightmare. I had to tape the wagon and go outside and hit the rest of it with white spray uh, primer to try and get as much of it covered as possible. And then finally, 
gunmetal gray. I colored the strappings. I did the strap on the uh, the yoke to hold the horses in place, and then the whole darn cage on the prison wagon got covered in gunmetal. I think this is where I fell in love with the prison wagon, which is my favorite, favorite wagon from this project. I love it. And that 3D printed lock just sets it off. Finally, to finish everything off, I'm going to go back with Americana's Honey Brown. I'm going to dry brush the wood, really make that wood grain pop. This really sells the fact that these are wooden wagons. And then with the vanilla ice cream, I'm going to dry brush the edges of the prison cart, and it's going to look pretty good. So here's all three. I hope you like them. And we're going to get to the Shamrock Boys in Tinley right now. I hope they hurry up with this ale shipment. I have so much work to do inside. Oh, I hear you, Lottie. I got a lot of work to do myself. Uh, I hear you. So much work in the field. Hey, what was that? Suddenly, the Shamrock Boys come bursting from the forest. Oh man, we gotta hurry. Mac and Duncan are keeping it busy, but we ain't got much time. Yes, jackpot, a wagon, let's go. Hell yeah, look at all that ale. I'm driving. Damn it, Merrick, you always drive. Stop your complaining and help me get Tinley in the back. Oh shit, Captain, it's coming! Let's go! What the hell are you staring at, Merrick? Go! 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 Damn, you pathetic thing! I can't believe you're letting them escape! What the hell was that all about? I ain't seen nothing that crazy in a long time, but I tell you what. That dwarf is going to be really pissed when he gets out the privy. <laughs> faster, Merrick! Faster! It's gaining on us! I'll go faster. You just watch that ale. Make sure it's safe. The ale! Great idea! Everyone, throw one of those kegs at the beast! You monsters! Not the ale! The keg of ale bounces dangerously behind the wagon and the beast jumps to the side as it nearly misses. See, it didn't work and you done wasted a keg of ale, you monsters! Come on, boys, try two this time. Let's go! No, Cap, you're killing me! The two kegs violently bounce behind the wagon, but the beast jumps over it. Oh my god, it's close! I can feel its breath! You bastards better not throw the last three kegs. Let them loose, boys! We can't miss! And this time, the beast was so close to the wagon, it couldn't dodge the barrels of ale. Smash! The kegs pummel the beast, and it falls to the ground. That did it, Merrick! Go! Go! What's the point without the ale? Oh, you stupid thing. Are you drunk? Meanwhile, miles down the road. Shaman, what bring you to wall? The ancients have fled the grove and a great evil comes here. Ready your men, my chief. As you command, shaman. That's going to do it for this video. I hoped you liked the little adventure and the craft. I want to thank you for watching. Smash that like button. And as always, like each other, love each other, and craft on.